this is one of those you know times where people would normally catch a lift drive you know go a couple blocks down at least that's what it is in 2019 but me i'm old school i ain't about to spend no five to six dollars just to go a couple blocks down you know and i can just walk you know america is getting more lazy you know if you want to call it a workout just walk you know anyway hope you guys having a good uh hope you guys you know having a good you know had a good monday you know now it's tuesday still feeling good from this big w right now you know had to go to a little hearing because you know i had a little violation um man should get that taken care of you know no points you know what's crazy about it though let me tell you something man tell, tell me why my judge looked like judge joe brown that's when i knew i think <laughs> that's when i should have worried right there but turns out you know the guys are pretty cool man not see i know cops have been getting um a lot of shit lately you know with a lot of shit going on you know you can call me an uncle tom for what i'm about to say but not all cops are assholes man normally i do get a lot of shit from cops you know especially when you hear a lot of shit going on but you know there are some cops that are really that is actually pretty cool you know but all these cops that are assholes they make the good cops look really bad all right so i just want to point that out there but i'm very thankful though man you know 2019 is still good my team still in the playoffs no points on the license that's good you know especially you know i'm playing on being a truck driver and all so anyway shout out to everybody that's joined the live stream what's going on i was going to make this quick man i just wanted to you know because i know i had a little uh you know my reaction you know i gave all the credit to cody parkey for missing that kick i know he was getting a lot of shit from bears fans he's getting a lot of love from us <laughs> But actually, I want to make a little correction that, you know, I have acknowledged that uh, Trayvon Hester, who was a defensive uh, end or defensive tackle, um, he's pretty much a backup of Hanoli Anata, was pretty much, um, you can say Hanoli Anata or Tim Jaron again, it doesn't really matter, or Fletcher Cox, whatever. But form, uh, former Raider Trayvon Hester, can't remember when he was drafted probably like the fifth round or whatever was pretty much uh he pretty much was the reason why cody parkey missed that kick he blocked that kick and because of that man a backup a backup defensive lineman he is he is pretty much the reason solely the reason why we won this game and for that shout out to trayvon hester but also shout out to doug peterson for still icing that kicker he deserves a lot of credit for that too but you know what man not only shout out to them still but shout out to the whole team though you know we still won that game as a team it's not okay. see it goes to show you just not the defense it's the team and the logo that wins playoff games all right but trayvon hester who is a former raider uh, i'm gonna give credit to the oakland raiders though oakland raiders vegas raiders whatever they're gonna be you know there's been some shit. <laughs> shout out to a niner fan i can't remember what niner fan said this but the homeless raiders because this this, this, is, this is a lot of shit going on i just hate to be in their situation but shout out to the raiders fans though shout out to raider ben uh he just changed his name back to raider ben you know he had a little troll going on whatever but shout out to raider ben i know he's going to comment on this soon but shout out to him but um you know shout out to y'all man because you know because we got a former raider who kept us alive in the playoffs and we just returned the favor you know why we turned the favor because khalil mack who y'all traded to the chicago bears for a cr for a sh i'm trying not to curse but for a crap ton of um for a crap ton of um draft picks that y'all got in return now it seems like it's going to be a great pick from there on out it may seem like john gruden has won you know why you know why it seems that way because khalil mack a guy that was supposed to get five sacks on Nick Foles, according to everybody. Khalil Mack, you know, was supposed to destroy our offensive line. Guess what happened in that playoff game? He didn't even get a single sack on Nick Foles. Not a single sack. Ironically, Khalil Mack, one of the most talk, you know, most hyped, uh, you know, linebacker, you know? Shutting down people left and right. I think, I think he had about 12 sacks, I believe. I think he had about 12 sacks. Hey man, what you what your Patriots gonna do this weekend? 
They want to get the job done? Y'all, who y'all got? Uh, y'all got the, the, the Colts, right? Yeah, we got the Chargers. Oh, the Chargers. Okay. I see y'all. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I just went past the Patriots fans. I forgot they want to get the Chargers. That's right. Um, but yeah, y'all. Um, crazy, man. Khalil Mack didn't even get a single sack on Nick Foles. Um, I know the next guy we got to worry about in the Saints is uh, Cameron Jordan. He's another person, you know? But I got to give a shot. I got to give credit to the offensive line, too. I can see my little, eh, you know, he was getting a little pushed around left and right, but he, I felt like he did just enough. He did just enough, you know? We didn't allow a sack to uh, Khalil Mack, which is good, you know? Um, let me see the comments by far. Hold on a second. I forgot I got to scroll up and down. Yo, what's going on, though? My Twitter is Desert Eagle X90. You know how it says YouTube Desert Eagle 90? Between the Desert and 90 is an X. So follow me there. What's up, Rant Philly fan? What's up? Is that Wild to Fly? Is that what it is? Pacho, what's going on? Rose of the Bear, what's going on? But yeah, uh, I just wanted to acknowledge that right quick. I just wanted to acknowledge that, though. That the former Raider, defensive end or defensive tackle, I can't remember, but his name is Trayvon Hester, was the reason why Cody Parkey missed that kick. So all you Bears fans, that's, uh, you know, giving Cody Parkey a lot of shit, you know, punching holes in the walls and destroying your properties and shit, threatening his life. Hey, man, tells y'all right there. Bet y'all probably, I bet y'all probably sick of shit right now. That's all that shit y'all destroy. You know, when you block a kick like that, it's kind of normal to miss. But then again, that's still not enough excuse by Cody Parkey because the thing, I mean, because the fact about Cody Parkey is that he missed a total of 11 kicks anyway. It's not a good kicker. What's going on? He missed, you know, he missed a, a lot of kicks anyway. What's up, crazy dog? Hey. Hester. <laughs> it's true, though. It's true. Hey, I mean... Don't, don't come over here and talk about some. We were lucky. Don't come over here with that shit either. In the end, it's all part of football. You know? It's all part of football. Nick Foles. Nick Foles did his thing. Clutch, man. Clutch. Against the greatest defense. Against the greatest defense. You know? Nick Foles have been getting some pressure. And he threw two interceptions. You would think a guy that threw two interceptions would already be unmotivated. Would already give up. But nah. Not even at all. He still kept his head into the game. He still finished on. Finishing with about over 200 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Crazy. That's what a quarterback's supposed to do, though. That's how a quarterback plays, though. Still never gave up, you know? Shout out to, shout out to Nick Foles, who did his thing. Shout out to, uh, to the offensive line, who did his thing. Shout out to Golden Tate with the clutch touchdown. You know, shout out to Alshon Jeffrey. He showed up. He told him. He told him that, uh, you know, Chicago is just an associate. Philly is where it's at right now. He loves Philly. But shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to all y'all. Shit, people that hit me up on Twitter. Oh, by the way, shout out to um, um, Sports Radio 94 WIP, 94.1 WIP. For they've, um, they tweeted my reaction to the Cody Parkey missed field goal. Though I wish that they retweeted, um, you know, my video with my name on it instead of re-uploading it. <laughs> but it's all good, though. I listen to these guys all the time. You know, I greatly appreciate them. I greatly appreciate them. But I was pretty shocked, though, because uh, um, one of my followers, his name is Dan. Um, Dan, I, I, I can't pronounce his last name, which I'm really sorry about that. But he knows exactly what I'm talking. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. But he, uh, he, he, um, he, tagged, he tagged my name, you know, to the video. And that's when I find out. So shout out to him. But um, I really do appreciate, you know, I really do appreciate y'all, you know, checking out my videos, sharing it and everything. That reaction went pretty viral. I'm going to tell you all this, man. This channel is definitely going to change, though. You know, I'm, I'm also going to go professional. You know, all the crazy trash talk is pretty much going to have to come to an end. Because, you know, when, you, when your name is getting bigger, you know, when you're going viral like that, you know, it's not pretty professional what they're going to see. So pretty much i'm gonna have to you know y'all know i'm going at with there but um another thing i want to talk about uh another guy you know that i've been going at it for the past couple years you know judah tribe with the cheers and everything man 
Here's what I'm going to say. Can't stand a guy. Can't stand a guy. And I'm sure the feelings are mutual. We've been going back and forth for the past couple years. We've been going back and forth for the past couple years. He always talked mad shit about my team. As a matter of fact, this guy is the reason why I can't stand Chicago. Why I can't stand the Chicago Bears. But after I seen his crow after this game, despite the fact I gave him so much shit in this hate week. But one thing I did not respect, the one thing I did not expect was a proper crow. Because normally when he crows to the Eagles, you know, he always have some, you know, whatever, you know, he doesn't even mention my name, none of that. But this time he mentioned my name. He was as humble as ever in his crow. And uh, which I really didn't expect. But let me tell you something, man. Judah Trot, cheers to you, man. Shout out to your good crow. Um, look, I know you're still gonna hate my ass for the, you know, for as long as I'm on YouTube or whatever. I know you still hate the Eagles, you know, whatever. It is what it is. But I'm moving on from here on out, man. You know, I'm throwing, I'm putting all that shit behind. So however you feel, you know, is entirely up to you. So uh, but I will admit this though. I will admit this. Chicago, man. I'm giving all the respect where it's due. Chicago put up one hell of a fight, man. Chicago put up one hell of a fight. That I definitely do admit. Chicago put up one hell of a fight. Y'all do something with that offense, y'all wide receivers or whatnot, man. The Bears will be legit for a long time to come. The Bears will be legit. Your defense is scary as is, man. Let me tell you something, man. That defense of y'all, man, that defense y'all got. If it's one thing I fear about teams in the NFL, is one with a great defense. It's one with a great defense. And I have not felt this concerned about someone's defense since 2013 with, the Le with Seattle's Legion of Boom. Just walked back to my car. So, I mean, y'all keep that defense up, man. Y'all really going to be something without a doubt. Y'all definitely going to be about something, no doubt about that. So I'm gonna give that to y'all, man. So do some do something with that offense. You guys are definitely gonna make a strong run. You guys will definitely be a threat, you know, later on, uh, you know, in the future. Mr. Trubisky, maybe y'all do have your quarterback. He had a pretty game. He had a pretty good game, no doubt. Had a pretty good game. So um, so the Bears definitely get my respect though. Definitely get my respect. Judah Tribe, I'm putting him behind. So uh, you know, respect to you, you know, good crow. And uh, you know, good luck in the future. I definitely see y'all making a great, uh, a great run, no doubt. Um, what else I gotta say? Um, but Eagles Nation, shout out to y'all though, man. They definitely need more offense though. But shout out to y'all though. Shout out to the Eagles Nation, man. That's been representing, man. I gotta tell y'all this, man. The, the the Bears fans though, that <laughs> their reaction to Cody Parkey's kick is priceless, bruh. It's pretty priceless. I know y'all y'all catching that logo, but I know it's a little peeling off right now. As a matter of fact, I was going to replace that. But I feel like, you know what? No, I'm going to keep it as is because I feel like it's a lot better when it's worn where it's worn off because when people get that fresh shit on there, it seems like they join the bandwagon. Y'all know how it is with the freaking, you know, whatever. Anyway, living the past two days ago, Dusty. Oh, here this motherfucker go. Here this motherfucker go. What'd he say? Living the past two days ago, Dusty Brave boy, cuz oh wow, Dusty Braves. If you get your fucking fast race, actually dredge your fucking dumb ass. Fuck out of here. Anyway, I'll, I'll get at you soon, JP. I'll get with you soon. Motherfuckers popping up talking about 48 7, 48 7. I'll, I'll deal with y'all soon. Anyway, let's talk about something a little more important. You know, the Saints, the Saints, I ain't worried about the Saints right now. As a matter of fact, I'm not worried about them at all. Anyway, shout out to the Bears, man. The Bears put up one hell of a fight. Their defense is definitely going to um, definitely going to be something in the future. Do something with the offense. Definitely um, do something with that offense. The Bears will definitely, um, you know, put up a good run. No doubt about that. Uh, Judah Chop, shout out to you, man. Good crow. Good luck in the future. Um, anyway, what do you say? If that's possible, in your unbiased opinion, can the Eagles win this game in New Orleans? I know there's always a chance, but your opinion. Yeah, I feel like the Eagles can win this in New Orleans. I definitely do. See, here's the thing about the Saints fans. I'm going to say this right now, because I guess I'm in this video anyway. Call me delusional all you want. But you know what? Ever since the Saints beat the Eagles, 
they've already been chanting, you know, they've already been shouting Super Bowl this, Super Bowl that, getting all cocky, right? Getting extremely cocky. Did they not learn their lesson as is when they lost to the Cowboys? They showed up putting it, you know, getting all, all, you know, taking shit lightly. And the cow it took a team such as the Cowboys, you know, who wasn't even that good at the time, bring their asses back to reality. I mean, you had JP. Haven't even talked about Super Bowl since. You had, uh, what's his name, uh, 44 the Legendary, talking about he was going to be humble from there on out. He was going to be humble. He was going to get cocky. But look what happened as soon as he go against us once again. Y'all already thinking 48 to 7. I mean, but then again, shout out to him for getting us a bit in the doubt. But he's, he's swearing that it's going to be a blowout once again. So you know what? I want y'all to show up with that same energy. I want y'all to show up with that same energy. I don't, you know, don't don't change right now. Don't don't say that this team is different. No, show up that same energy. Keep thinking that you're gonna blow us out. Keep thinking that you're gonna blow us out. Cause I feel like your defense is gonna be a huge break. You know, your defense is nowhere near as good. If I, I say you run defense, yeah, sure, but your defense is nowhere near as as uh freaking good as the Bears. Nowhere near as good as the Bears. So I mean, if anything, I think it's gonna be more of a shootout. To be honest with you, I think it's gonna be more of a shootout. Definitely gonna be more of a shootout. Shout out to Lord Brunson. No, nah, man, I got the dress, but I always, you know, I always got the hoodie on, so it seems like I got a cut, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, let me say, let me hold $5 to these food stamps. Cause that's funny as fuck, man. Hell yeah, Lord Brunson. We about to fuck the Saints up. Hey, Lord Brunson, shout out to you, man. I know you I know you got to see the rare form. I was turned the fuck up that game, man. But thank, appreciate it to you, though, man, as always, man, with the great content you always put out. Let me tell you something, man. I know I said... When the Eagles, um, you know what I mean, vid makers, you know, take notes and everything. I'm planning on taking this channel a different direction. You're definitely one of the guys that I want to take notes from as far as being a better content creator. You know, I got to take notes. You said no more profanity. You know, we got to keep up with the videos and everything. I'm definitely taking notes from you. So major shout out to you, though, man. I'm known for trash talking and representing, but me making this channel professional, I'm going to pretty much be a rookie, you know. It's pretty much starting all over, but this time with over 4,000 subs. But anyway, shout out to everybody in the chat that's watching right now, man. But um, but that's pretty much it. Though. I really ain't got much to say, man. I'm confident we beating the Saints, man. I'm very confident we beating the Saints. You said you should make a video together. Hey, I, I'll definitely be looking forward to that. I definitely look forward to that, man. Shit, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. If we have a home game, I, I don't know, man. I don't know when. I, it might it might be the last time Foles playing at home this this season. I don't fucking know. But yeah, whatever, man. But I'm going to say this, Eagles Nation. I'm telling you all this right now, man. I'm going to tell you all this right now. There's been articles going on about Carson Wentz and Nick Foles' uh, future with the Philadelphia Eagles. Talking about, oh, you know, it's going to be Nick Foles' final year or Philly was going to be Carson Wentz' final year. Let me tell you all this, man. As long as this season goes on, all that shit is considered clickbait. All that shit is considered clickbait. Even though I'm a fan of this logo, regardless of the, the 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 decision because i was a fan before and after but all that shit is considered clickbait man you know you know damn well if you know doug peterson he does not share info about that he does not share info about that until you know it is the off season so with that being said don't buy into the article nonsense don't buy into the troll don't buy into any of that shit don't buy into what Elliot Shores, Parsons is saying, or Ian Rappaport, whatever the hell they saying. They're none but a bunch of clickbaiters. That, that's, that's pretty much it. Don't buy into that. And let me see what JP said. Awesome two cheerleader, light-skinned Tyler Perry dude's name. And, Motherfucker, if you don't sit your bootlegged jack, jazz-looking ass from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you fucking black jelly bean-looking motherfucker, you don't sit your stupid ass down. Talking about cheerleading shit. Motherfucker, I'm the reason why you started talking football. I'm the reason why you had a Drew Brees jersey on in our last hate week. You don't sit your ass the fuck down, man. Fuck out of here. It's a damn shame of all who that nation that's got to constantly cam up. It's you. Man, we're saying subtitle. Like, give me the real fans up here, man. Tyrone Biggums. Exactly. Tyrone Biggums, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Anyway, this motherfucker, he don't get out of here with that shit, man. I wanted to say that shit in the hate week, but nah, man, fuck that shit. Oh, fuck over here. You, you, you call you, you have the audacity to make a hate week about the Philadelphia Eagles, right? Talking that shit when you over here doing this. Trying to flap like an eagle, man. Get out of here with that shit, man. 
Get out of here with that shit. If you gonna make it hate week about the Eagles, stop doing this shit, man. You ain't even doing this shit right. You all stiff and shit, man. What you need some WD-40 and shit, man? All rusted with flapping your wings and shit, man. Go sit down. Man, so sit down somewhere with that shit. Sit down with that shit, man. Anyway, man. I ain't man. See, I'm I'm gonna try to keep it football though. Alright? I'm gonna try to keep it football. Cause I know I was lit in my last hate week, you know. I wasn't trying to go that direction, but it came out. Anyway, we whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, dog. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. Saints Uptown. I'm not. No, nah, he's not. A, he's definitely not a fake fan. He's definitely legit, man. He has been. He's been repping for over ten years. He really has nothing to prove. It's that Lord can talk now. If I come live on y'all page, and, what? Let me see you. What did you say? I only talking live videos. I kill y'all. Hey, let me tell you something, man. Oh, JP, I respect JP as a fan. I definitely, res I definitely respect him. I definitely respect him. But the fact that JP is the most active of uh, uh, Saints vid maker on here is, is above and beyond me. As big as New Orleans Saints fans, you know, as big as the Who That Nation is, there's only a very few that's camming up. And it's crazy, bro. That is crazy. But anyway, I'm not going to get too far into detail because, you know, we got a nice little week going on. Cowboys beat the Saints. Uptown was ghost. He talked so much. He did, you know. That, that's that's that, that's that's their that's their problem. You know, that's their problem. How the Cowboys beat the Saints is above and beyond me. But I can't hate after that. But anyway, um, but I guess I'm in this video right now. I mean, I'm going a little too far in this video. To the 35 people that's watching, get this up, man. Greatly appreciated though. Anyway, JP about to hit a thousand subs. You know, shout out to him though, man. It's not personal, you know. But you motherfuckers are in our way right now, man. If you really think this is going to be the same team, you really think it's going to be the same team, you know, the same 48 to 17, you a damn fool if you really think that, man. You really, a, you a damn fool. But you know what? Show up with that kind of energy, though. Show up with that energy, though. Go ahead and get cocky because you already found out the hard way when y'all went against Dallas. But show up. Think that you're going to blow us out like last time. I'm not even going to call that game of revenge, really, because, you know, Carson Wentz isn't playing. This time, it's, uh, you know, Nick Foles. I will call it a hate week as far as, uh, I mean, a hate week. I will call it a revenge game from 2013 when y'all put it into our season. I will call it that. Our only L in the postseason when Nick Foles was against the Saints. So with that being said, I will call a revenge game from that. You already know it's keys to victory coming soon. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, Lil Brunson. I'm looking forward to that, man. I'm looking forward to that. I'm supposed to... Hey, hey, sh hey, Pat, Pat. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to the real Cowboys fans I respect. You know, like Simons, Beast of the East, Boys for Life, Dallas Cowboy fan 1980. You know who the rest I fucks with. Shout out to y'all. But I'm. it's my job as a diehard Philadelphia Eagle of this logo here. It is my job to be a hater of the Dallas Cowboys. It is me and Lord Brunson and all other Eagles vid maker. It is our job to be, a, uh, to be a hater of the Dallas Cowboys. If you was really expecting us to bend over backwards and kiss y'all ass, then you, you're on the wrong page, bruh. You're on the wrong page. I respect you too. Cowboy fans rooted for us to win it. Yeah, Lord Brunson, I think I realized that too. I realized that too, man. You don't, you don't get respect, you know, in a playoff win if you're rooting for a division rival you know to beat this team because y'all don't want to go against the the better team you don't take easy routes bro i will gladly face the saints i will gladly stand up to the new orleans saints the saints are the best team in the nfc and i give that to them. you know what i'm looking forward to round two i'm looking forward to a redemption game and to beat to 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 to, to go for a repeat we got to beat the best and the new orleans saints i consider an honor a redemption an opportunity of a you know to go against y'all i'm looking forward to it as well anyway yeah jp man you know what if we want to talk about a real if you want to talk about a real hate week or whatever we can go we can go back and forth in the hangout because i'm trying to keep it football this time I was lit as I ain't gonna lie, I was lit like a motherfucker in a victory lap. But we go back and forth, mano and mano, in the hangout. That's how we really do it. That's how we really do it. But anyway, let, let the Saints fan think it's, they're going to guarantee the W. Let them think that. Let them think that. It's cold cup for them for them braids because you brought it from China. Negro, man, you corny as fuck, bruh. I get, see, I give you the credit for being creative. 
But really, nigga, you sound dumb as fuck right now. You know what's made in China? Your Drew Brees jersey. You know what else is made in China? Your national championship jersey. That's made in China, bruh. That shit is made in China. I'll show you what a real Super Bowl shirt look like. I'll show you what a Super Bowl ring look like. We see, we don't carry national championship shirts. We carry Super Bowl shirts. We're carrying Super Bowl shirts. Anyway, <laughs> all right, I look forward to you. Know, all right, cool, cool. I'll be on, I'll be on and um, I'll be on around midnight, you know. I'll be on at midnight. So after midnight, that's when I'm free. So it's whatever. Let's fucking do it. Let's get the real hate week popping in the fucking hangout. That's how it's done. Live, when we talking football. We ain't doing, you know, ain't no, no more edits, no more, you know, none of that shit, man. Let's go in the hangout. But right now, we're going to talk football this week when as far as me camming up. But the hangouts is where I'm really going to see you. So what if it's Ash's hangout? What if it's Tekken's or whoever? You let me know. Anyway, um, I guess I'm in this video right now. I said enough, man. Y'all not beating the Saints. Your season is over. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Boomer, look. Y'all said the exact same thing as far as... Y'all said the exact same shit as far as us going against the Chicago Bears. So, I mean, your, your opinion don't mean shit. So, your opinion don't mean shit. And you say, it, it's all y'all motherfuckers saying the Saints ran up the score last time. That First of all, y'all went against a bunch of practice squad secondaries. A bunch of, you know, these guys weren't even starters in our defense. As a matter of fact, it was Drew Brees' job. He was supposed to take advantage of that shit. Being as though he is the best quarterback in the league, he better have fucking did that shit. But if you, but show up with that same energy though this Sunday. Keep thinking this is the same defense. Thinking it's the same defense. Go ahead and be cocky. Go ahead and go ahead and guarantee it. Go ahead and guarantee it because when they, when we get extremely cocky like last time against the Cowboys, you're going to regret it this time and Sunday against my team that you supposedly blew out. Go ahead and keep thinking that though. Oh, now you want to call it excuses? Okay. All right, it's called talking football. It's called taking away, take, giving the takeaways of those games. See, it, it's crazy how when we try to talk football, when we try to point out issues, you guys only call it excuses. Oh, but when the Cowboys, you know, lose games, what do y'all do all the time? As a matter of fact, we blew our asses out last, last time. What was your number one excuse? Oh, that's right, because the Ezekiel Elliott wasn't there. Fuck out of here, man. And then y'all want to blame the refs. As far as when Zach Ertz caught that touchdown, you know, in the Super Bowl, and y'all try to bring up the, the Des Bryant situation. As a matter of fact, when y'all lose, y'all blame refs all the time. Like, come on, man. We ain't going to talk about this shit, man. We ain't going to talk about this shit. Anyway, I want to play y'all again in the playoffs. And, okay, I want to play y'all too. But am I going to root for y'all? Hell no, I'm not going to root for y'all. I'm not going to root for y'all. Not at all. I'm not going to root for y'all. If y'all win, y'all win. We'll see y'all. But right now, I'm worried about the Saints. So let me leave it at that. But anyway, shout out to Lord Brunson, man. Shout out to JP. Nothing personal, but we coming for y'all on Sunday. Anyway, um, that's all I got to say, though, man. It's your boy, Daddy Checker, out of here, man. It is always Fly Eagles Fly. Once again, for the final time, shout out to Trayvon Hester. For, um, shout out to Trayvon Hester for, um, you know, blocking the Cody Parkey kick, you know. Shout out to uh, Judah Child with his crow. I give that to him. Shout out to him. And um, Cowboys fans, worry about the Rams. We know that that's talking about uh, the Saints going to blow us out and this that right there. Okay, you guys beat the uh, you guys beat the the, the Seattle Seahawks. I give that to y'all. But worry about the uh, Rams and let us worry about the Saints. Anyway, um, that's it. That's all though. JP, Dog, don't talk shit about the birds when you when you flap your wings like a bird, man. Don't do that bullshit. Al, oh, Alvin Kamara, fuck him, man. Fuck that Shanae looking bitch, man. Fuck him. That drama queen motherfucker. Hey, 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 as a matter of fact, if you want to talk about excuses, what is your reason for choking to the uh to the Minnesota Vikings? Instead of you, instead of you pointing fingers at your own teammates, you're worried about us. Hey, JP, what is your excuse about that shit? What's your excuse about that shit? Talking about, oh, yeah, you know, Alvin Kamara was right, you know. Had we done this and that, you would have beat us in the NFC Championship. Well, blame your teammates for choking last year. Don't get mad at us. Fuck out of here, man. Anyway, I'm going to get on out of here, man. It's your boy that you're checking on out of here, man. It is always fly equals fly. Hate week, it's going to be football talk, plain and simple. Anyway, I'm going to get on out of here, though, man. Cheers.